It's that time of year when you could drive around the neighborhood and admire the Christmas lights your neighbors have put up, but it's pretty hard to compete with a display put on by a Markham family. and Andrew Lindsay put together their first big display in the year 2000. Every year, it continues to grow. This year we got over 70,000 lights, including 60,000 LEDs. By using 60,000 LEDs this year, we've uh, quadrupled the number of lights uh, that we had last year and reduced our energy bill by about a third. But a display like this isn't one you put up in a couple of hours on a Sunday afternoon. This display we started putting up in early November. It took us about 400 hours to date so far, and we're still working on it. We're actually still programming a new song, which should be out this week sometime. Lindsay admits it causes some traffic problems this time of year, particularly on Friday and Saturday nights. But it is all for a good cause. Visitors are asked to make a donation to a charity if they can. Over the past four years, we've collected over $23,000, which have been passed on to local charities, such as the OSPCA, War Amps, Toronto Humane Society, Children's British Foundation. In fact, there are nine charities in total, all listed on their website at www.lindsaylights.com. This website has been fairly popular these days. We're getting about four or 5,000 hits a day from people worldwide watching the display. We have webcams on there and uh, videos and pictures for everyone to download. The display is made possible with the help of a number of sponsors, including Holiday Creations, who has donated 800 new sets of LED lights. New this year include the driveway tunnel and many additional lights on the house and bushes. 